Hi, this is problem 10 from the 2016 AIM-1. A strictly increasing sequence of positive integers, A1, A2, A3, etc., has the property that for every positive integer K, the subsequence centered around an even index is geometric, and the subsequence centered around an odd index is arithmetic. Suppose that A13 is 2016, find A1. Okay, since this is a uh, sequence problem, one thing I always like to do is uh, write out a few example sequences just to sort of get my head around what's uh, what's going on with this sequence. So uh, let's try to draw out a few example sequences to see how this works. So I'm going to try to look at the terms A1 through A5 initially. And the simplest sequence I can think of is one that just starts with the number 1. And uh, these first three are centered around an even index. So that means they have to be spaced geometrically. That means that A2 is the geometric mean of A1 and A3. So when I multiply A1 times A3 and I take the square root, I better get an integer. So it seems like the simplest number I can choose for A3 would be 4, which would then make A2 equal to 2. And now these next three are arithmetically spaced, so that makes A4 equal to 6. Uh, these are now geometric, that makes A5 equal to 9. Uh, continuing a little bit further, we can find that A6 is equal to 12 and A7 is equal to 16. And uh, at that point, I sort of noticed that the odd indices are all perfect squares. So that's 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and 4 squared. And you could probably do some algebra to prove that to yourself, but this looks very compelling, so I'll just take that as a uh, as a given truth here and let's continue this a little bit further we would then find that a9 is equal to 25 and a11 is 36 and a13 would be 49 and again that corresponds to 5 squared 6 squared 7 squared so i i think the the squares of the integers for the odd indices is is pretty solid and uh, of course we could continue this further if needed. So this is a pretty good start now. And uh, one thing I noticed from this sequence is that I didn't have to necessarily start at 1. It looks like I could shift the starting point to say A3 or A5 or A7 or A11 and generate another example sequence that would pretty much follow the same pattern. And I also noted that noticed that uh, the relationships between the various elements are such that I could multiply this sequence by some positive integer, say 2 or 3 or 7 or what have you, and generate another sequence that also follows these rules. So that's two degrees of freedom. I can shift the sequence and I can multiply it by a positive integer to generate a new sequence. And, and that's quite a bit of flexibility, so that kind of uh, suggests a possible shortcut to uh, to solving this problem in that uh, we could try to see, well, how can we land on a value for the sequence that equals 2016? And let's just see if we can work back from that point. And we remember that 2016 has the prime factorization shown. And so we can quickly find that 2016 is equal to 12 squared times 2 times 7. So there's a fairly large square inside of 2016, which really suggests that we can actually get to the value of uh, 2016 by taking this sequence and shifting it over by six values and then multiplying by 2 times 7. So essentially this is our new starting point is 6 squared, but we need to scale this new sequence by a factor of 14 to arrive at the uh, final value to be 2016. So our starting point then would be then 6 squared times our scale factor of 14, and that's equal to 504. Anyway, a pretty simple shortcut to this problem, but uh, a couple of other ways to do this, and you can look on the AUP site to, uh, to find those. Anyway, take care. We'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.